Hi everybody. Um, so today's video is going to focus on supplies when it comes to uh, scheduling and, and making your planners and <clears throat> making it work for you. Um, and I thought that this might be a helpful uh, video for those who are trying to figure out how to carry their supplies with them without um, getting it messy and keep still keeping it organized. So this is actually my pencil case. I've had this for a couple of weeks now. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. It is by Lihit Labs and it has a little, little label in the front. It comes in multiple colors. It's really reasonable in price. I think I got this for about nine bucks and it is probably one of the best pencil cases I've ever owned and I've owned a, a good amount of pencil cases. Um, this particular um, size and color is um, blue so it's 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 not shiny it's pretty matte actually it has a little bit of sheen but not not shiny um, it feels very nice it feels very sturdy and it looks like it could hold uh, it could um, handle a good amount of wear and tear and it's you know about I would say maybe uh, an inch and a three quarters or half an inch and a half thick it's pretty long. Um, it can definitely hold pencils. So when we open this up, you'll see how long it is compared to regular pencils and pens. Um, I just added my pen here just to give it a little bit of uh, color and I thought it was cute. Um, but the front is basically, it's got two pockets, a small one here and it's got a pocket here. And I don't really use the pockets very much except for the big one. Um, I have the I have my schedule marker that I bought that was um, that I had highlighted in my other videos and this is just you know a little mini sticker that I can use to for planning purposes but overall that's all that's all I use the back there's no there's no pockets there um, when you look at lit labs they do have different sizes different types of pencil cases I recommend this one for it's um, it's 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 small enough to where you could put it in your backpack without it being too bulky, and it holds a good amount of stuff, as you'll see when I open this. They do have some bigger pencil cases and even some smaller ones for those who prefer um, a more compact size. But I thought that this size was the perfect size for planning on the go, and it really carries all of my supplies. I don't have to really put anything else anywhere. Um, so let me open this, and the, the zipper is super sturdy. It's got a dual zip, and when you open this, it opens up to two main compartments. It's got uh, this compartment right here, and it's got the compartment in the back. Um, so the first compartment really is more for your pens and your highlighters. Uh, I've got a bunch of pens here. It holds a good amount, and it really just depends on how bulky you want this to be. Um, it, you, this can hold even more pens than what I have here because it has a good amount of slack. Um, but if you don't want it to be too bulky, you may want to, you know, just kind of minimize it. And it's a good way to minimize your pens for the ones that you really like to use on a daily basis. Um, it holds my fountain pens. I've got two here. I've got um, my fine point markers. I've got my Sharpie. Um, yeah, so it, it holds a good amount. Uh, this side right here has all of my highlighters that I use and some other markers that I use for highlighting as well. And that also holds a good amount. I like the fact that this one has this sleeve. Um, it does keep you from putting any more stuff in here. So it's a little bit more um, compact compared to something like this where it's a little bit more loose. But it, it does keep the highlighters really snug and it keeps it from moving around too much. and. Um, unlike this one where it does tend to shift a little bit but yes yeah, so this first compartment really is more for your pens and uh, writing utensils the second compartment has a little bit more with the pockets and I like the fact that it's netting so that you can see what's inside the the ones here are more for they're a little bit more snug so you won't be able to really put things that are too bulky in here I usually will put my post-it note my page tabs that I use a lot and then I've got my my USB drive here in the bottom and I think I can probably put another one here but it may stick out a little bit but this is pretty snug so you won't be able to put a lot of stuff I've, I've got a good amount of post-it tabs that I have in here 
Um, but yeah, it's, it's got nice compartments that you can use. The other side has a little bit more give and a little bit more stuff. And you can probably stuff a whole lot more stuff in here. Um, I have the things that I use when I plan, which is my ruler. I've got colored pencils and pens that I use that are not on a typical everyday basis. I've got my glue pen that I purchased and have not used this yet, but I'm excited because it's really compact, again, in a pen type of style. I've got scissors here. I don't know if you guys have seen these scissors. This is from Muji. Um, it's super compact. It looks like a pen, but when you open it, it's actually a pair of scissors. And that also is nice because you can actually hook this into your compartments and it keeps it snug, it keeps it from falling out. Um, I've got other types of pens here. I've got my USB adapter. I own a Surface Pro, so it only has one USB uh, port. And this is sort of nice because it shifts and moves and I can put more stuff in here if I need to. I also have my, this is my Hobonichi um, sort of stencil that you can buy from Hobonichi. I like this because it does have the to-do list and then uh, it's compact enough, has the numbers on the bottom. I also have my uh, correction tape. Half of my correction tape is actually comes as a heart. I can't remember where I got this from, but um, I use that pretty often when I make mistakes in my planner. And so, so yeah, so all of this in the back kind of just fits real compact and you can customize it any way you want. I think that for this part right here, it's pretty much stuck to the pens, but definitely for the back, you can use it for however way you want to, you know, you want to use it and depending on what your needs are for your planner making. Um, I pretty much only use all the most of my supplies that on here. I don't really use anything else. And then I just zip it up and it just lives in my backpack. And that's pretty much it. I hope you found this useful and have a good day.